Hello, I'm Roselle with ContractorsLiability.com. We've put together this informative video for you. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to our Learning Center. Today we'll be talking about general liability insurance. General liability protects your business in case of damage to a third party's personal property. Also, if a third party gets injured on the job site, general liability would make sure you have the cost covered in the case of a lawsuit. Now, when you buy a general liability policy, it is always important to know if the insurance company is admitted or non-admitted or part of a risk retention group. There are major differences between the three, so pay close attention. Admitted insurance companies. This is the best type of company to buy from and includes almost all companies you have heard of. That's Travelers, Hartford, Liberty Mutual, State Farm, Farmers, just to name a few. This type of policy means that if the company goes bankrupt, the rest of the companies that are admitted will bail them out and you will have insurance even though your insurance company has gone under. Essentially, there's almost no risk of you being stuck without insurance if you pay. Non-admitted companies. This means that your insurance company is not admitted in the state you are buying insurance in. And if they go bankrupt, you are left with an unwelcome burden. But just because it is not admitted, it doesn't make it a bad choice. Many non-admitted carriers are still rated and sometimes they can be rated higher than an admitted company. If you have an A-rated and non-admitted carrier, they still have very strong financials and the chance of them going bankrupt would be very slim. Risk retention groups. This is the lowest form of insurance to buy because it is always non-admitted. They really do not need to go by any rules as far as the language of the policy. However, it does have a place in the insurance market because it's inexpensive. The major problem with these type of policies is that they have a maximum amount they will pay out in one year. Once that amount is exhausted, they won't have more funds for any extra claims. In other words, there's no more coverage for anyone. So if you have a big claim and they've reached their maximum, you're on your own. Now that you know what admitted and non-admitted companies are, you may also need to know about manuscripts policies versus ISO policy manuscripts. These are policies that can contain any language or exclusions the insurance company wants. They are generally only seen in non-admitted markets and can offer very little coverage for what is usually a low price. Your certificate may look the same but behind the numbers is very little coverage. These policies do have their place in the market for small companies that cannot afford a better policy and need something to work with. ISO policies are standard policies that the industry has agreed to be fair for the client and for the insurance company. Almost all large companies use ISO forms such as Travelers, Hartford, Farmers, State Farm, just to name a few. And it's because they mean to be fair. And the language is the same for the entire industry. Many risk retention groups, as stated earlier, do use manuscript policies that do not offer a lot of coverage, but are inexpensive to purchase. Now, general liability coverage are intended to protect you against your own mistakes or unintentional damage to third parties. Join us in our next video where we will explain about the type of coverage and the amount of coverage you can expect for your general liability policy. Click the link below and don't miss this great opportunity to learn more. Thank you for your time and remember, we'd love to do business with you today at a great price. So give me a call for a quote. My number is 773-657-2628. I look forward to speaking with you.